Who wants some flavorful chili beans? We are going to make some fire roasted chili beans today. So you want to gather all of your beans. This is the ones that I'm using here and on my paste. Then I'm going to be using chili pepper and white pepper and some chili bean mix. These are just some of the seasonings that I'm just going to be using. Simple a little bit of everything. So what I began doing is I emptied out all of the cans into my crock pot. I was making a lot here. Um, I wanted to keep the juice because the juice also holds tons and tons of flavor. So I wanted to keep the juice in there. I also added a can of the fire roasted corn, which in turn, I loved it. It was a little bit more filling, so it added some good flavoring. And not only that, but it added more to it, so that way it was, you know, like I said, more filling. It wasn't just beans. Um, so I ended up taking them out of the crock pot because I was making so much. We had people coming over this night and what I ended up doing is just putting them in my big pot to slow cook them on the stove, which in turn worked out better for us. We had so many leftovers it was absolutely delicious um and all i did was use the cans that i showed you guys i didn't add any more to it the only thing that i did add to it was i diced and fried up some sausage and um i also cooked some hamburger meat and i threw that in there so you're gonna see me just put all of the beans and everything else but in turn is when i decided hey you know what i think i want to add some meat inside here so i went ahead and i added um like I said, that I cut up and fried up before I added in there some sausage just to give it a little bit more flavoring and a little bit more texture other than just beans. So this, I'm just adding all my seasonings in here as you can see. I added them all in all at once because I mean, they're gonna all get mixed in and I wanted it to infuse the flavor while it was cooking. So, I went ahead and I added all of that in, not too many red pepper flakes because the baby was eating this and it was fire roasted. It did have a very good fire roasted flavor. So I'm gonna get this all mixed in and you're gonna make sure that you mix in all of your seasonings. So that way you don't have to worry about coming and when you take a bite of your food, it's you don't want it to be chunky. So give it a nice taste after you taste it, you're gonna add in anything else you feel like it may need. I added a little bit more taco seasoning in, um, onion powder. But with that, you're gonna leave it on the stove for about 30 minutes to slow cook. You can leave it for a little bit longer and then that is it, guys. As I said, it's a very short and sweet video, but it's a very, very delicious video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got lots more videos coming up that I've been working on, and I can't wait to share them with you guys.